All right, give a look to everybody, man. Um, I'm doing this on two channels. So for those who don't know, I have multiple YouTube channels. I'm doing this on Mas Movies and Shows. And I'm also doing this on Los Tres Chingones Boxing. Why am I doing it on the boxing channel? Well, because it is a boxing movie. And, uh, you know, Rocky, this is somewhat, uh, this is a spinoff of the Rocky movie. So I thought I'd just go ahead and put it on the boxing channel as well. So if you're watching me on the Stress Chingones Boxing, shout out to all the Chingones and Chingonas. And if you're not, you're watching it on mass movies and shows. As a matter of fact, I'll leave the link to both of those channels uh, pinned in the in the comment section. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's get into this. Um Man, Holmes, uh, I've been waiting for this movie for a while, right? I like the Creed movies. Obviously, I'm a huge, huge Rocky fan. I love the Rocky movies, except for Balboa. That movie is a terrible movie. That movie sucks. I do not like that movie. And for the ones that keep on hating on Rocky Part 5, shame on you, because that is a badass movie. I love Rocky V. Anyway, Holmes, here we go. Creed Part 3 the very first Creed that does not have Rocky in it. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and tell you guys this. I'm not going to spoil too much for you guys. I'll go ahead and tell you guys this. Rocky's name is not even really mentioned in the movie, man. Uh, they mention Rocky when they talk about the Apollo versus Rocky uh, fight. Obviously, that took place in the original Rocky movie. That's about it. But there's really no mentions of Rocky Balboa. It's not like uh, Adonis Creed thinks back or maybe even makes a phone call to Rocky or like, man, what would Rocky do in this moment? No, man, that that you don't really hear a mention of, of Rocky Balboa in this movie. I understand at some point Creed was going to have to move on and uh, leave Rocky behind, man, and and, you know, become Creed and do his own thing. I wish it was under better circumstances. I really do. I'm not going to get into all that stuff, man. It's just a, a big fallout between Sylvester Stallone and, and what's going on. But, uh, hey, man, everybody can go ahead and research that stuff and see what's going on. I don't want to get into it on this one. So, um, first thing uh, in the story is um, basically, you guys have probably already heard this, is that Adonis Creed has had a successful career. Um, he's had a very successful career defending his title, being the guy, being the man. And, uh, the movie, uh, pretty much starts, man, um, with, well, actually the movie starts back in 2002. If, yeah. That's the way the movie starts back in 2002 with these two gentlemen right here, Adonis and Damien, uh, being childhood friends, um, going into the underground boxing world where Damien is, um, is one of the top dogs and making Feria. Now, I don't know if you guys have been around smoker fights. Um, I have, I've gone to plenty of them um, back in the day. They're uh, basically underground uh, boxing venues, man, where, you know, there's a lot of gambling and betting uh, going on and um, it's cool to go to. Don't get me wrong. At the same time, it's not regulated and there are some pretty bad things that happen at those things. So um, I'll just kind of leave it at that. Either way, um, that's kind of the way the movie starts. Uh, then it fast forwards to Adonis Creed having his retirement fight against Tony Ballou. I don't know his name in the movie. He's an actual fighter, which I do want to get to uh, uh, in a bit. But uh, he has his retirement fight. I believe they fast forward to, what, 2017, I believe it was. That was when he retired. I may be wrong. Maybe it was 2019. I'm not really sure. Either way, he had been retired for quite a few years. He's living the life, man. He has his daughter. He has his wife. His daughter is actually deaf. If you guys go back um, with his lady having the, the hearing problem, uh, his daughter is deaf. So they have to, um, you know, communicate during with uh, using nothing but sign language which was very interesting. And I do like that they added that into the movie. I really, really do, man. It, uh, I think it plays a pretty big role, Holmes. I think it really does, man. Uh, the daughter obviously does not talk. She doesn't say a word, right? But she is in the movie. It's not like uh, she's just in a little piece of the movie and that's it. No, man, she's, uh, it's not like Rocky Four, where Rocky's son is just in a small little piece of the movie and that's it, no. It's a little bit more like Rocky Five, where his son is much more involved in the movie. 
in this case, uh, his daughter, um, she is one of the main characters in the movie, and we'll get to her in just a bit. So all the communication had to be uh, done with sign language. Um, so basically, man, uh, his homeboy gets out after doing, I believe he said, 18 years, and um, he wants a shot at the big times. He wants a shot at the title. He wants a shot of, you know, he's coming for everything, <laughs> right? And uh, he has no professional career. And um, he's looking at Creed to make that happen. He's looking at Adonis to make that happen. And Adonis is like, I can't make that happen. Adonis is basically just looking to get him some ring time, get him in there uh, with one of their up and coming fighters, uh, Felix Chavez, played by um, uh, uh, Benavides. And um, he, that's not good enough for him. You know, he's all like, hey, just get in there, man. And, uh, you know, spar it up, spar it up with him, man. And, you know, get some ring time. I'm going to get you in there. And and who knows? Maybe we could get you a few professional fights. And Damien is like, look, maybe you didn't understand me, Holmes. I want a shot at the title. I'm running out of time. I'm an old man. You know, and uh, Adonis is like, I, I don't know. I can't make that happen. And Damien is kind of remembering, is reminding him of like, well, isn't that what your dad did for Rocky? Right? Um it's pretty far fetched, right? That that uh, this would happen, but ultimately, um, you know, Drago's son, who uh, fought Adonis in part two, which I forgot his name. I for, I really did. Uh, Drago. I'll just call him Drago because I forgot his first name. But uh, you know, it's going to be a fight between him and uh, Felix Chavez again, played by uh, by Benavides, and. Um, you know, that's supposed to be the big fight and uh, Drago gets hurt. So Damien, um, they're like, hey, you know what? We got to keep our guy busy. We got to keep uh, uh, Felix Chavez busy in this fight. So let's keep him busy and let's just have him fight. I'm sorry, over here. Damien, which again is very far-fetched. Uh, somebody that has no, um, uh, not one professional fight, right? So I'm just kind of like, all right, hey, whatever, so be it, man. I would have kind of liked for them to have had him have at least, at the very least, Holmes, at the very least, uh, four or five professional fights, Holmes, right? And have him look very, 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 very impressive. Um, he has a, a, you know, he was a Golden Gloves champion in the movie, of course. He was a Golden Gloves champion. And he had a, a good amateur background. So, you know, I was kind of scratching my head and saying, like, hey, why don't you guys just have him have, you know, like three, four fights, Holmes. And, uh, you know, we're in a different era of boxing, dog. You can have a, a great amateur background and come into the, uh, to the pro ranks. And you, you could move up pretty damn quick, especially if you got somebody on your side like uh like Adonis Creed and and you know you you uh you know you're very impressive in your professional fights even if it is just two three four fights you know I think of somebody like uh Vasily Lomachenko you know there there are quite a few fighters man that don't need a lot of professional fights to get a shot at the big time especially if the opportunity presents itself which in this movie it did but to have no professional fights eh you know what kind of rubbed me a little bit the wrong way but Nonetheless, man, uh, I didn't ruin the story for me. He gets in there. He's um, I don't want to ruin too much for you guys, but obviously I'm I'm sure this goes without saying. I'm sure you guys already know that he becomes the guy, right? He beats the guy. He uses uh some of his tactics and 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 uh ends up becoming the guy. Adonis starts finding out that uh, you know, it was all in his plans. At the same time, Damien does sorry over here. Damien does have a reason to have anger at Adonis. I'm not going to tell you guys why. You guys are going to have to wait to watch uh, to uh, watch the movie to find that out on why Damien has a legitimate, I don't know if I should say beef, but, you know, just a uh, bad taste in his mouth, man, knowing that uh, they, these two guys were, you know, camaradas, dog. And so he does have a reason, a legitimate reason, on uh, why um, why he has this uh, this feeling towards uh, towards Adonis, 
And um, as, as I said, you guys, I'm not telling you guys anything you don't already know, man. You guys know these guys are going to fight. These guys are going to throw down. It's kind of like the a little bit, a little bit like the Rocky Five moment where it's like Tommy Gunn, right? He's turning his back on Rocky. Yet yeah, Rocky's the one that gave him the shot, gave him everything. A little bit something like that. So, you know, not 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 exactly, but it goes somewhere along that storyline. And uh, here we go, man. Adonis getting back, getting into the training, and they start treating Adonis almost like in the movie Rocky Balboa, where it's like, hey, Holmes, you're old. You know, you have quite a few fractures, your your fists, uh, you've had quite a few concussions. So they can't train them the way they would usually train them. So, um, you know, they they use some different tactics. But I, I, I do like the uh, the training montage for both of these guys. Jonathan Majors, who plays Damien, I just, want, I just want to say this, man. Where did this guy come from? Because just like that, just like that, Holmes, this guy is in the movie Devotion, which is a very good movie. Uh, he's in the movie uh, The New Ant-Man, which I have not seen. I'm, you know, I don't know if I'll watch it or not. Um, and he's in Creed Three. This guy's making a lot of a uh, lot of waves in some calm waters, man. He just like sparked up out of nowhere, dog. Uh, at least to the best of my knowledge, maybe he's been in a couple of other things that I haven't seen. But just like that, he's in a couple of uh, big blockbuster movies. Um, Devotion probably being one of the lesser of those, but a, a good movie nonetheless. Uh, so back to the movie. Um, so that's basically the story. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to tell you guys, you know, what happens in the fight or anything like that. I will say this. Um, they do change up the fight a little bit. It's something different from uh, the rest of the Rocky movies or the rest of the Creed movies, especially going into round three, which at the end of the bell turns into round number 11. I don't know if I just spoiled something for you guys on that, but I, I, there's a change right there that I did like. I did not see coming. I did enjoy it. I'm like, okay, I get that. It gets me lost with just these two guys in there battling, man, for um, just the heart, right? The heart of the warrior, man, which is why I love boxing so much, man, is the modern day gladiator just going in there. And I do like what they did with that uh, with that fight scene. Um, other things about the movie. Look, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with all the uh, the actual true boxers and or just in the boxing world, the actual true uh, 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 people that they had in there. They had, you know, um, Stitch Duran in there. Uh, Canelo Alvarez uh, had a little cameo in there. You had Jimmy Lennon Jr. in there. You had uh, uh, referees uh, Tony Weeks and Russell Mora. Um, Terrence Crawford was in there. You had a uh, uh, Showtime Boxing. Um, was advertised there. The zone was there, man. I, I mean, I, I know I'm missing more because I remember being like, hey, man, this, this is pretty impressive. I like it. Uh, you know, uh, Todd Grisham, uh, um, Jessica McCaskill was in there. Uh, shoot. I, I'm trying to, I didn't write any of this stuff down. I'm trying to think. Uh, Chris Mannix was in there. You know, then and so, so many more, man. It was uh, It was pretty impressive to watch. And it did make it seem a lot more real, a lot more realistic, even though I just kind of trashed it a little bit for uh, for uh, 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 Damien's character to have no professional fights and get a uh, shot at all the belts. Right. Uh, they could have done a little bit better with that. Uh, they they, they could have squeezed in a couple of fights here and there, man. But nonetheless, I, I, I liked it. It made it seem very authentic, man, with having all these uh, all these characters from the real actual boxing world. So I, I enjoyed it. You know, I really enjoyed it. Ultimately, what a what a good movie, especially. Especially after part two, here's the thing. It's not that I didn't like part two. It's just the fact that part two took a step or two back from part one. Part one was really good. I really enjoyed part one. Part two, while it's good, outside of seeing uh, the Russian Ivan Drago come back, played by Dolph Lundgren, um, to, uh, uh, for Adonis to fight um, uh, Ivan Drago's son, right? The dad who killed his dad. Uh, outside of that, I don't, I don't think it was really that good of a movie, man. I don't think it was that good of a story. Um, that's that's kind of what made it a good movie and a good story to me. 
But if you replace that with just somebody else, I don't think the story kind of holds too much weight. I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. I I, I enjoyed Creed Part Two, but I I really do think it take took a few a uh, few steps back from the first one. This one on uh, at, at least for me, you know, you guys have your own opinions and your own thoughts whenever you guys watch it or if you guys already seen it. At least this one for me, man, kind of stood off on its own and it regained a little of those steps. Uh, again, the first one without Rocky Balboa in it. Not only that, but just like I said in the beginning, they meant, I think his name gets mentioned twice. That is it. And it's nothing big. It's nothing major. It's just uh, recalling the fight with him and Apollo Creed. Speaking on that, something that caught my eye that hasn't before. Um, uh, Adonis Creed, man, right? They have done a really good job. And maybe he just really does look like him. I don't know. But the facial hair, the way he has his mustache, his, you know, little trim goatee. He looks a lot like Carl Weathers, man, when he was playing Apollo Creed. He really does. I was looking at it. And when they were, when you know, when when uh, Adonis is talking to his mom and his mom is bringing up Apollo, you know, I'm looking at Adonis and I'm like, man, you're, you you really resemble Apollo Creed, man. It, it just it kind of took me in a time machine going back and, and watching the original uh, the original Rocky movies. And I'm like. They, they, I, maybe he, maybe, uh, maybe he just really does kind of look like him, but his facial features and everything, especially, like I said, the stash, just his little facial hair that he got going on. It really, truly reminds me of Apollo Creed. So, hey man, whether they did that on purpose, whether they didn't, I don't know, Holmes, but it, it really, uh, it was something else, you know, it really caught my eye. Um, there is a death in this movie. I'm not going to tell you who it is, and I'm not going to tell you how it happens, but there is a death um, in this movie, man, and uh, it is a little bit heartbreaking. I should say it is somewhat of one of the main characters, okay? It is some way, uh, it is one of the main characters, kind of. Um, this franchise, I believe, is going to take a turn. Um, will there be another, will there be a Creed Part 4? Possibly, I think so. I think there, there's room for another, for, for one more Creed. And then after that, I think they're going to turn it around and they're going to start, uh, make a spinoff of Creed into something else because, um, I don't know if I should throw this out there to you guys or not, but there's somebody else that's, that's looking to have an interest in boxing. Maybe you guys are already connecting the dots on here. And uh, it looks like that's going to start its own franchise because they're, they are taking an interest in boxing. So I think we're probably going to see another Creed, a Creed Part 4. And then after that, it's going to start turning into this uh, to this other series of movies that I believe is going to end up happening. Uh, with that, I do want to say this, man. They have their final fight um, at Dodger Stadium. Now... To the best of my knowledge, for those who don't know, homie, I'm from L.A. I'm from Los Holmes. I'm a diehard Dodger fan, dog, okay? Um, that is my favorite team in all the sports, Holmes. But to the best of my knowledge, and I haven't done any research, I don't recall there ever being a fight at Dodger Stadium. Um, why did they choose Dodger Stadium? I really don't know. Maybe some of you guys know. Why didn't they choose, uh, you know, uh Shoot, they could have chose any other arena, you know, uh, Staples or no, it's actually uh, Crypto.com now, uh, the Forum, um, the Rose Bowl. The, I mean, if they want it outdoors, whatever it may be. But I'm so glad that they chose Dodger Stadium because I would love, I would love to watch a fight at Dodger Stadium, man. I really would. I went to watch the fight with my son. I'm, I'm sorry, the fight. I went to watch the movie with my son. And at the end, we're just like, damn, Holmes, they need to. I really hope after watch after this movie, I really, truly hope that some somebody in the in the boxing world picks up on this and has a fight at Dodger Stadium. Damn, that would be badass. I would be there. I don't even care what I don't even care who fights there. I would love I would absolutely love. To watch a fight at Dodger Stadium, man, that would be 
bad ass. Obviously, it's outdoors, so you can't have it. Um, you gotta you gotta pick the time, the right season to have it because it is outdoors. But man, Holmes, just seeing it, seeing the layout, I, I, I get it. A lot of it was CGI. I understand that. But man, Holmes, it just it looked badass. It really did, man. And I'm just like, you know what? I really do hope they do that one day. To the best of my knowledge, I didn't look this up. They have not had a fight there. If I'm going to really be honest, I think they may have had a fight there. I think I have heard something like that. I might be wrong. I don't know. But they don't have fights there. I really, truly hope, man. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I can do, but I really want to push for them having a fight at Dodger Stadium. That would be badass. Like I said, I don't even care who fights there. I will be there. Ultimately, man, good movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, you could critique it here and there, but I enjoyed it, man. It wasn't, I, I walked out of that theater saying like I didn't waste my money. You know, it was uh it was good ultimately because my son paid for it. <laughs> but I paid for the food, homes, and I spent like 60 bucks in food there at the theater, man. Damn, dog, they gouge you, you know. But um no, it was definitely worth watching in the movie theaters. Oh, and we watched it in IMAX, too. So um, got a nice, better view of it. So I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, does Rocky ever come back? I don't know, man. They're talking about possibly a Rocky Part 7. Let me know what you guys think about that. What do you guys think about Creed Part 3? Should there be a Creed Part 4? And if you guys watch the movie, you guys know what I'm talking about. When uh, the story continuing with somebody else that picks up on boxing. Are you guys excited for that? Not to say that that's what's going to happen, but I can definitely see that being a thing and that happening, man. What's your thoughts on that? That's my thoughts on Creed 3. I love the movie. Well, loved it. I really liked it. Well, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. It's not the best, but uh, it's not the worst either. I really enjoyed the story, man. Good stuff. Mas movies and shows and shots to all the chingones on those three chingones box. I'll catch you guys next time.